accelerating at 9.8 meters per second squared. That's its acceleration towards the ground. Then we said when the object is going down, gravity is equal to a positive 9.8. If the object is going up, gravity is a negative. So when you throw something upwards, the object will be going up but its velocity will be reduced every second by 9.8 until the velocity of that object cannot push the object upwards, therefore it will fall down. Okay. Then we said under projectiles, under projectiles, these are the three things you need to know. Number one, you need to know how to calculate the maximum. height, how high the object will go. I throw an object with an initial velocity, maybe we throw an object going upwards, initial velocity, I think I gave 25 meters per second, this object is going up, after one second, minus 9.8, after another second, minus 9.8, after another second, minus 9, until this 25 is finished. So at the maximum height, the final velocity is zero. At the maximum height. Final velocity. At the maximum height. So this object cannot go up any anymore. It has to fall. Then what we said is that the amount of time it takes to go up is the same amount of time it takes to go down and reach the same position. So now, if this object was going up, eventually it will fall. Now it has started another journey. It's now going down. When it was going upwards, this was being reduced. Minus 9.8 after one second, minus 9.8 after one second. Now, when it starts the downward journey, it is now starting from zero. After one second, it is plus 9.8. After one second, it's plus 9.8. By the time this object reaches this same position, remember going downwards, the initial velocity was zero. By the time it reaches here, to reach at the same velocity because now it's going downwards and it's now plus 9.8. So what we say is you need to know time it takes to go up. That's the only time you need to know. So when you know how much time it took to go up, then you'll be able to know also how much time it will take to go down. Time up, is equals to time going down. So if you get your time, like in this example, you can use one, one direction. If you choose to use the upwards direction, then you use a negative. If you choose to use the downwards direction, you use a positive. Time is equals to V minus U over gravity 
our which one are we using upwards or downwards? Upwards. Okay. If you're using upwards, your initial velocity is 25, final velocity is zero. That's the amount of this is the time it will take to go up. This is the time it will take to go down. The total time spin. Is this time this guy? You get five point something, five point two seconds. So this it will go up two point five five seconds, two point five five going down. Now we keep this information. If you don't understand it, please ask this thing. Please ask. From here, we take our study a little bit further and we say our projectiles for N4, our objects will be projected at an angle. Okay. This is the ground, this object is thrown here. 25 meters per second at an angle I'll give uh, 30 degrees just for easy calculations. Okay. Now this velocity it's not like this 25 that was going straight upward at 90 degrees. This velocity is at an angle. It has got two components. Just got the component going upwards, the vertical component, vertical velocity. This vertical velocity is going upwards. It is a component of this 25. It is going upwards. This vertical velocity, in our example, it will be equal to 25 cos or side. You form a triangle. 25 here, this is your vertical velocity. Yeah, it's fine. This is your angle, 30 degrees. This is the guy you're looking for. And it's going straight upwards. 25 cos or side. Side beta. This velocity, when you calculate, it will give you the velocity at which it's going up. This velocity is the one that will give you the maximum height. It is the one that will give you the time from this velocity. You will get your time, you will get your maximum height. Very important. Remember what I said? We need this to. This velocity, the vertical velocity, is the velocity that is obeying gravity. Gravity is affecting it because that's the velocity which is going against gravity. Affected by gravity. Okay, how do we get our type? Same way we wrote that formula, t is equal to v minus u over gravity. Our final velocity will be zero minus, now we are using this. We are not using just 25. We are using 25 sine 30 over negative us our time. A 
and when you use your calculator, make sure it is in degrees, especially when it comes to these three ratios, sine, cos, and all those tan. Make sure it is in degrees, or else, if you don't check your calculator, you'll get uh, different answers. 1.275 seconds. All right, this time, this time is the time it takes for this object, whether it's a, we said it can be a ball, a cricket ball, a golf ball, a bullet, or whatever it is. This time, that's the time it takes to reach the maximum height. The time it spends in the air, there is also this other time when it is now dropping to the ground. You multiply total time, you multiply this by 2. 1.275 times 2, you get your time. Seconds. Alright, how do we get the maximum height? Where to reach, it won't go beyond that. V square is equal to U square plus 2A. This is your height. And also, keep in mind, this velocity should always be in meters per second. If we are given a question, they say the object was projected at maybe 120 kilometers per hour. Convert that to meters per second. Whatever associates itself with gravity, this gravity day should be in meters per second. The time should be in seconds. Always. If given kilometers per hour convert to meters per second. How do you convert kilometers per hour to meters per second? Five by 3.6. Right If they give you a velocity in kilometers per hour, don't do any calculations. First, convert that to meters per second. All right. Lastly, lastly, what we have here is that the object is not go is not only going upwards but it's also going horizontal. In that direction. Therefore, this object is projected at an angle, it reaches the maximum height, it starts dropping, and it will find itself from this point, it has covered it has been displaced horizontal displacement. It was here, now it has found itself at that point. Okay? It has been displaced. And what causes this displacement is the horizontal velocity. This horizontal velocity is not affected. not affected by gravity. You should assume this velocity to be constant. It is not changing. It is not reducing. It is constant. It's 
straight horizontal. In this case, in this example, it will be the velocity 25 cos theta. In this example, your velocity cos theta. And this velocity is always in that direction or it's always horizontal whether the object was going that side or that side but in this example it's going that side always in a straight line and it is a constant velocity it is not affected by acceleration it's not affected by 9.8 9.8 only affects something that is going up or going down this velocity straight constant velocity Constant velocity will give you your horizontal displacement. S is equal to V times T. This velocity is that guy. Not the sine theta, but the cos theta. This time is not 1,25. This time is the total time spent in the air. Remember, we know how to get the total time, right? If you multiply by 2. Because uh, 1,275 is only the time it took to reach the maximum height. The other 1,275 was used going downwards. So the entire time it takes from start to where the object lands is this total time times 2. 